Oh, it's another YouTube channel about video games. So like this and subscribe to me and put some shiny quarters in my pocket so I can get more video games. I have a license to use Nintendo's content in this video through the Nintendo Creators Program. This video is not sponsored or endorsed by Nintendo, but any advertising revenue from this video will be shared with Nintendo. Hey everybody, it's uh, Bill W here, and I want to talk about some upcoming games for the Nintendo Switch that seem like they should be ones to get excited about. Uh, first one I want to cover is the uh, upcoming Super Smash Brothers game, and title's still pending on that, so who knows what it'll actually be called uh, once it actually pops out. Um, anyone who's ever played a Smash Brothers game before probably knows that, you know, it's going to be a fun game. They've, as far as I know, yet to release a Smash Brothers game that didn't just work out well for, uh, you know, having a great party game. And, you know, the single player has usually been pretty decent on that. Um, they've only really shown a couple of the characters in the trailer at this point. I mean, you've got, you know, Link, Mario, and the uh, kids from Splatoon in there. Um, with any luck, you know, or, you know, basically if you look at some of the previous ones, games that came out, you know, there's a pretty good idea of some that will probably be included in there. I mean, you know, obviously you're going to probably have in Luigi in there, Kirby, Peach, uh, Pikachu, Donkey Kong. And, you know, again, based on some of the other ones, you probably also have, you know, might have Mega Man in there. And I'm personally hoping that maybe they'll throw a variant of that in there and let you play as Mega Man X. Um, probably end up having, you know, Sonic in there, like we've had in some of the past ones, Samus, uh, Wario, uh, Princess Peach. You know, it's just going to be, it's going to be a good old time, just like all the previous Smash Brothers games have been on that. Um, for all the previous systems. Uh, that one's supposed to be out at some point in 2018, but who really knows exactly when that's going to be coming out, um, just because they, you know, I'm sure would rather have it be perfect than have to, you know, do a ton of updates afterwards. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, another one that is going to be coming out that at this point doesn't really have a uh, official release date is uh, an as of yet untitled Yoshi game that's supposed to be out at some point this year. Not a whole lot of details coming out about this other than the fact that they're going to be making a Yoshi game and uh, just based off the description of it, it seems like um, it's going to be a pretty interesting uh, kind of transition away from just like the regular, you know, side-scrolling Mario games. Um, basically, it says that it's going to have a lively art style looks like a miniature diorama, which... Uh, just says it's a new art style for the franchise. Uh, it says each side-scrolling stage has a traditional front side as well as a flip side with different views and surprises. So, almost kind of seems like uh, you know Yoshi meets uh, Super Paper Mario. Maybe um, hard to really know for certain, but you know it's one of those where anyone who's been you know Jones and for a Yoshi game or a Yoshi-based game definitely seems like it's going to be something that's going to be you know very enjoyable. Also, is going to allow for a simultaneous two-player action, which is always nice, um, especially in my case with the kids, because it lets them you know play together instead of having to yell at each other while they're waiting to take turns. Um, so uh, that's something I think is going to be pretty cool. Um, in terms of ones that actually have official release dates, uh, first up is uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, which is coming out on May 4th. Uh, this is a re-release of the Wii U game. And some people are like, hey, why are they charging so much for a re-release of a Wii U game? Well, they've added in some additional parts to it. Uh, there's going to be, you know, there's the co-op. Uh, variation of it. There's the hard mode where if you collect all the Kongs and then beat certain you know levels and whatnot, it'll un open up the hard mode. Um, there's going to be the time attack where you can actually record your best times, compare them against other people on that. And then there is the uh, the funky mode, which is uh, kind of what I think one of the bigger selling points. Um, basically, it says you know there's a more casual gaming experience. Newer players will appreciate the extra hearts and being able to get items at a discount at Funky's Flying By, while speedrunners will love blasting through levels on Funky Surfboard at a blistering pace. So it seems like they're trying to throw in some additional stuff to make it stand out from the, you know, uh, Wii U version. Um, Next on the list, we've got uh, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, which, again, the original Hyrule Warriors came out on the Wii U. Um, and it's a hack and slash game featuring all of your favorite Zelda Legend of Zelda characters. Uh, this one's going to have some updated Breath of the Wild uh, 
clothing in it and whatnot. Um, this is another one that, you know, again, people are going to be like, hey, it's a re-release of a Wii U game. Why am I spending money on this? Honestly, I really don't have an issue with them re-releasing some of these Wii U games because, you know, the Wii U is a system that I just, you know, couldn't get that excited about because it kind of seemed like it wasn't all the way there, whereas the Switch kind of seems like what the Wii U should have been. So to me, it's one of those where the more games they re-release for it, the happier I'll be because, you know, it gives these games a chance to finally kind of hit the proper audience and get all the love they deserve. I mean, personally, I'd love for the, uh, you know, Super Mario Brothers maker to uh, pop out on the Switch, but, you know, that's just kind of my hope. Um, and this last one, when I just first heard the name about it, I really wasn't super excited about it because it was giving me flashbacks to the uh, Virtual Boy Tennis. But uh, Mario Aces Tennis actually looks like it could be a pretty fun game, um, whether in one-player or two-player mode. Uh, I'm not 100% certain how the controls on it are going to work. I've got some ideas, thinking it might be pretty similar to how some of the uh, Wii Tennis worked. Um, which, you know, was a nice way to accidentally end up whacking your, you know, sibling or spouse in the face with the controller. But, you know, just got to make sure you got the right amount of distance there and make sure that everything goes as planned. Um, but uh, personally, I think it looks like it's going to be a lot more fun than, you know, a regular tennis game would be because, uh, you know, tennis not necessarily the most exciting of sports to watch or play unless you're really good at it or, you know, who knows what else. But um, these are just some of the ones that are coming out in the next few months, hopefully. Um, again, the uh, Smash Brothers and the uh, Yoshi game, they're supposed to be at some point this year, but don't really have much in the way of official release dates. Uh, some people are assuming, you know, probably September or October. Got to make sure they get them out before Christmas just so you can hit that, uh, you know, sales rush at that point, obviously. But uh, definitely seems like there's some good... Uh, nice notice these are actually all pretty much first-party games because, uh, you know, Nintendo is Nintendo, um, and that's actually one reason why I'm excited about them is because Nintendo has a tendency to put a lot of love into their games that you know carry their namesakes and whatnot. So it gives me hope that all these will actually end up being as good as I am hyping them up to be. Um, so yeah, we'll find out what happens with those, and I do have a Tropical Freeze on pre-order, so I will hope to be able to get that out with a you know, review and some gameplay videos once that actually does pop out. As for the rest, we will uh, see what happens with that in terms of my budget. Um, but uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for uh, watching. Um, please you know, like the video, subscribe, tell other people, uh, and uh, let's keep this going on. All right, thanks again. Bye.